Yo, it's the Black King Goku, and this is a quick uh, update video. Uh, this is going to be uploaded, but I'm not going to post it anytime soon. But it's uh, being recorded as of Sunday, February the 2nd, and will be uploaded today. But, as for posting date, I don't know when. But anyway, I want to talk about something. I can see a lot of points of why people just don't want to hand out the right and stuff, but the cop's just doing his job. A lot of times I can see where the cop's coming from. <laughs> I mean, you know, I look at it like, you know, I get sick and tired of seeing all these same videos about, oh, man, this is ridiculous, man. Why are you harassing me? The cop don't know you, all right? And it's not their job to know you, first of all. Secondly, when you get off saying, man, this is ridiculous. Why you, why, why I got to do this and that? You know, tell you where I live and stuff. You just got to cooperate, man. As long as you don't go overboard, if the man starts asking you for your social security number and all that stuff, then that's where you can draw the line. As far as your ID is concerned and your address is concerned, they have to be given over, not handed over to where they're, they're going to keep it. No. But within the law parameters, you need to follow that. Stop defending this crap, you know? Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm going to... uh uh. Oh, oh, I feel so bad because somebody's harassing me over here because I'm doing something over for, for the community. Dude. Okay, look. We can see that. Alright. Just cooperate. You know, lots of cops don't always stop you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Anyway, they don't stop you, but there's cops that do, and there's a reason for that, because there are a lot of problems in the areas, and, you know, it can't be helped. So don't go going about, well, man, this is ridiculous. I just told you I live right there. Don't cop no damn attitude. Just do it, man. It might be annoying, but, dude, okay. All right, let me put it this way to you. If you've seen somebody suspicious, it doesn't matter what the color is. It has nothing to do with the color. It's the fact that they're doing something suspicious. And when you're wearing something, you're holding something while you're trying to pick up trash that has nothing to do with you because you don't... You're, see, that's another thing. You're not wearing a vest. If you're wearing a vest, they won't stop you. Okay, they don't care. If you're wearing a vest, fine, you're, you're okay. But if you're not wearing a vest... Then you're going to get asked to pull out ID. Of course you're going to have to do that. I mean, you know, just because I wear a damn a jacket on and everything. And I go out there and pick up trash. You think they're not going to stop me? No. You need a vest. So don't, don't defend that crap. You know, oh my god, the cops just harassing him because he was over there picking up trash. He's not harassing him. No, he's not. And you see, lots of times, okay, I can understand where you're coming from, but when you start talking about, oh, by the way, uh, some dude was uh, just uh, not minding his own business. He's supposed to do his own job. That is his job, man. Okay? You ain't wearing a vest, and you're cleaning up in areas that have nothing to do with you. Of course you're going to be stopped by cops. What do you expect? No cops going to bother you and not go by and say, Hey, by the way, you got any ID on you? Yeah, I got ID. Then just cooperate, dude. I've had to have a cop pull up on me when I was, you know, closing up gates. Because I didn't have my security uniform on at the time. You know what? Even though it was a temporary ID, it was still... Updated to my address and everything. So don't get all hog tied and bent out of shape. There was a dude. I mean, yeah, okay, a lot of times cops get pissed off. This cop was not even pissed off. This cop had a problem. But just because there's a lot of stuff in the area. And even if I had more security shirt, I guarantee you I probably would have got pulled over because I'm right there. I live on the property. And I don't always admit that. You know, because I don't, I don't like to tell everybody that I live here on the property. I mean, as far as the official 
you know, cops and stuff are concerned, yeah. But anybody else, they don't need to know. I really, I feel that that everybody don't need to know. I mean, they need to know that, yeah, that there's security here. But I'm not gonna. Uh, they also really, I don't want any like trouble because look, I ain't afraid of nobody. But and I'm not a weakling. But at the same time. Because I don't believe in violence. If I believe in violence, you realize how many people I could have chased off a long time ago that were bigger than me. Not that I haven't tried to do my fair share of defending myself, but even so, I to- I can see right then and there there was no there was no point in me trying to even go into it. Because I didn't have strength to deal with people that were heavier than me, bigger than me, and I could have easily whooped their butt. You know? And it's not about fear, anyway. I ain't got no fear. And you don't need fear to understand that you cannot go up against people when you just don't have it in you. And if you don't have it in you, then you ain't got it in you. So don't bother. Don't resist. Just do it. So, my message is just don't bother with the whole, oh, my God, I can't believe a cop's asking me for my ID. How is that not surprising to you? It has nothing to do with your color. What do you think it would make any better if I was if I was over there? I'll tell you what. I'll make a clone of myself because I can't go over there. I'll have, I'll send him over there. Get him to be pulled up. You know to be asked for ID. What do you think that's going to make you feel any better? I don't think it will. So stop your crap and stop it or I'm going to knock you out. Okay, cooperate, or else I'm going to throw your ass in jail if I had the right authority to do so. Yes, I would. You bet your ass I would. Actually, I wouldn't actually do that because I can't. I don't have the authority to do it. But if I did, I would throw you right in jail. I don't give a damn. You're going to jail. You wouldn't cooperate. So, you, okay? No. The man's just doing his damn job. Back off. A man doesn't have no damn attitude with you or nothing. You're just trying to make sure that everything's secure. It ain't got nothing to do with your color or you being there. Doing doing your job there. You know, and you're living there. It's the fact that he don't know you. And even if they do know you, it's not their job to know you. Okay? It's just like me. I, it's not my job to know you. Okay? Ain't got nothing to do with that. We gotta live peacefully. That's the problem. People just take things out of way out of context and go, "Well, you know what? I'm just gonna take other things out of context, and we're just we're not we just want to live our own way peacefully and quietly." Yeah, okay. In order to obtain that, sometimes you have to support or give a hand over idea, a confirmation of where you live. You don't need to take them to your house or nothing like that. Because, I mean, if you live there, you know, and you give up or you, you know, let them see you where you live at, then you should have no problems. And besides that, when presenting an ID, it should contain your address at all given times. I am sick to death of seeing these videos. I can agree with a lot of times when people just go over there for no, cops go over for no damn reason, okay? But a lot of times, it cannot be helped, Okay? All right. They may have caught the wrong person, but it's still their damn job. Okay. I don't give a damn. I've had pe- I've had cops pull me over and say, "You look, you fit the description of a certain person," and I'm like, "Okay, but I'm not them." So and it turns out that I'm all good and everything. They they make sure they kind of detain me, but they don't put me to anything unless I absolutely have to. That's if I don't cooperate. So if you don't cooperate, you will be detained. So don't think for a moment you're not going to be detained. It's like the same thing with these dumb idiots who don't want to hand over the damn ID when they get pulled over. I don't have to give you nothing. Yes, you do. Especially when you pass through a red light or you're speeding. More than you should be. Or you got caught pulled over by a cop. I don't have to give you nothing. You know, I pay your taxes. What kind of stupid idiot says that? Are you taking drugs? 
Look here, son. I don't give a damn how old you are. I don't care if you're 80, 90, or 20. You don't talk that way. And you're lucky I wasn't there. And you're lucky. Two things. I mean, let, me, let, me, let me reflect that up there. You're lucky for two things. One, I wasn't there. And two, that if it wasn't against the law. But in other words, if it was for the, you know, part of the law, I'd come up there and I'd haul off and smack your ass. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. Back talking to me again, son of a bitch. See what I do again. You're lucky I don't do that shit to you. You're lucky I w- there wasn't that shit. Because I'd have done head hard up and hit you. If it was one for being against the law. But you're lucky. You're just lucky. I don't do that. Either that or haul you off in jail. Because, you know, I'd, I'd have already hauled you off in jail. I wouldn't have kept on. I wouldn't have kept on and on and on and on. Because you just kept on saying. I would have just hauled off and I would have said. You know what? I'm going to get your ass. I don't give a damn. You're going to get it. You're going to get it coming. Well, you, you're going to keep playing this crap. Keep playing it. The important thing about when it comes to jobs of doing security in an officer is the safety of every individual. Not just about the units, you know, and the vehicles. You know, it's not about just about that. It's the safety, especially of their own well being. Had nothing to do with color, race, anything. If somebody does that, then they're wrong. But a lot of cops don't pull you over for that. If cops did that, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's cops that do that. That's just, that's just wrong. There ain't nothing I can do about that. Me, I won't do it. But I will have your ass hauled off by a cop. If you even, just because are you know, trespassing when you ain't supposed to be here. Or anywhere. I will do it. I call the cops because, you know, I don't care. You don't, you don't trash on my, on the property. It ain't my property. I could say it's my property, but it's not. Because I don't own the damn thing. It would not right be proper for me. You, I'm not going to treat it like it's my own. But I'm going to treat it like it needs to be protected. Because that's the job. The safety of everyone's well-being is at cost here. Including my own. And I know you don't have to be scared. Even if you had, even if you had fear, it wouldn't matter. It's not about the fear. It's about whether or not you're protecting, you're doing your damn job. You know? And people just fail to realize that. It's all about the, oh, by the way, uh, that's not doing your damn job. Why aren't you going off chasing off some criminal? Dude, okay, first of all, we're not accusing you of being a criminal. It's the fact that you just look suspicious. It ain't got nothing to do with you being colored. It's the fact that what the hell you're doing... When they're supposed to be. Because you ain't got a vest on. First of all. Secondly. You know. You're not registered anyway. Third of all. You know. Even if we did know you. We, it doesn't matter. We still have to ask for ID. You know. Because. It's more appropriate. And. If we're there. And by we. I mean. If, let me get this. It's not going to be because I'm not a cop, but because I'm a security guy. But anyway, let's say there's a other security or cop, doesn't matter. Okay, if I'm if I'm there with them, I'm going to say I, it's all right, I already got them cleared. And that's if, if we say that, then you're fine. But if we're not there, then you're not cleared. They're going to want to get your ID, and that's fine. You should be okay with that. It's not like they're going to ask you every five freaking minutes, you know. Once you're clear, you're clear. That's it. If you start looking like and dressing up like, you know, we're not going to recognize you. Of course, we're going to pull you over and ask you for your ID, or get you to pull, or get you to pull out your ID and say, "Yeah, this is me." All right, well, you're clear. Yeah, or you're good. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we're not, it's not like we're pulling you over and say, "Well." You're white, you're some color, or, by the way, we need you to take off all your clothes, get naked, and let's just do something inappropriate. No, we're not going to do that to you. I can understand your quorums when people do that to you. But we're not doing it to you, so back the F off and stop defending that crap all you other people out there. Oh my God, because he's such and such, they're just picking on him because he's a different color or something. Okay, let's see. When you got how many people? Indians, white guys, all kinds of people get pulled over and asked for their ID. Or they're walking and doing things. 
you know, in it, or, you know, but not when they got vests on. It's very rare that someone gets to be pulled over with a vest on and gets asked for dieting. Very rare does that happen, but yes, it does. But more often than not, when you ain't wear a vest, you ain't registered nowhere, you're going to be pulled over. So you need to cooperate. Otherwise, there ain't no point in us doing our damn job. It's about the safety of everyone involved, not just you. Now, what you're doing is not the problem. Okay? Alright, later. This has been a message brought to you by the Black King Goku. Bye-bye.